Hey everybody. Uh, we've had a few people ask us uh, how we grow our duckweed, how much duckweed does it take, uh, stuff like that. Uh, well, first off, it doesn't take a whole lot of duckweed to start with. Uh, you can start with uh, something like that. Uh, I believe this tank was started with about that much. Uh, it's not a whole lot. We take that much, uh, we just swirl it around, put it in the tank, let it float off, do its thing. Uh, and that's all it takes. This tank was started with about that much. Uh, maybe two weeks ago, uh, give or take. I don't really remember the date. I've got it wrote down, but it doesn't look. Uh, if you can see, uh, it's grown out really well. Uh, the next thing they've asked, you know, how do you grow it, etc. Uh, well, the first thing you want is good nutrient-rich water. If you have an aquaponics system, that's a great way to do it. If you don't have an aquaponics system and you're pulling off your tap, the first thing you want to do is add uh, sodium sorbate, uh, which is vitamin C. And you want to add that to it, uh, fill your five gallon barrel or whatever kind of uh, bucket you're going to put it in, uh, fill it up, add your sodium asorbate, and it doesn't take a whole lot, a little pinch uh, will work, and then let it sit 24 to 48 hours. And what that does is uh, neutralizes the chloramine, which allows the chlorine uh, to escape. You don't want chlorinated water. And then you're going to have to add some kind of nutrients to it. Uh, you know, you can do compost tea, sea kelp, or an aquaponics water if anybody close to you. Uh, sells it. Uh, we have it. Uh, so if you're close to us, we do sell it. Um, but that's what you're going to need for nutrient-rich water. Uh, the next thing you're going to need, if you see our little aerator here, um, we have these set up. You need good aeration uh, with very little movement. I don't know if you can see this, but the duckweed's not moving at all. Uh, and this is what you want. Uh, you don't want movement at all. Uh, don't pay attention to this tube. This is actually a siphon going out somewhere else. Uh, this is an added air. Uh, the air duration is coming from where it's dropping out of here into the bottle and it's causing all these little air bubbles. What this does is every air bubble introduces oxygen into the water uh, and it does, it's not coming out the top. What's happening is it's coming out below here. I've got a few holes drilled in this bottle. Uh, I think two on each side or either two on these two sides and then maybe three on the other sides. I can't remember. Uh, I've been playing around with it and uh, two on each side seems to work really well. Uh, and what it does is it goes out below the duckweed, uh, all the air. I'm gonna try to zoom in here a little bit so you can see the real tiny, see all those tiny little air bubbles? That's what you want, are the tiny bubbles as well as over here, the little tiny bubbles over here. Uh, what that is is that's just too much oxygen in the water. It can't absorb it all, so it just forms uh, little bubbles on the surface. Uh, and with doing that, uh, that's that's great. We feed our fish with this as the uh, water comes drops down tier levels. Um, but that's how we do it. That's all it takes. It doesn't take a whole lot. Uh, good air, good nutrients, uh, and the water needs to be warm. Uh, you need to keep the water 70 plus. You don't want it to get over 90. Uh, ours is between 76 and 79. Uh, and it will grow very fast at 70 plus. Good nutrients and good aeration. Uh, that's how we do it, and that's how we... Uh, like to grow it and it grows really well for us. All right, thanks.